Hey you two! This is Super Zemus and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Alright, last time Tella joined our party, so yeah, it's a lot of HP and MP, but not too many spells. But that's okay, I don't really care much. We're not going to be using too many spells anyway, but... Well, I mean, this does... It, never mind, I mean, we're going to use spells, but we're not going to use strong spells. This is going to be a relatively long dungeon, so... Yeah, we're going to be here for a little while. So why don't we get all the treasure while we're here anyway? So there we got an iron ring, which I want to give to Tella, right? Yeah, yeah, I want to give to Tella, because, well, he doesn't have anything, so... It's better on his defense there, why not? But anyway, let's, uh, we want to go down this way. And find new enemies. Here we have, um, in the back there, the water bug, and in the front, the evil shell. Evil shell is weak to lightning, so let's get that going. Tella, can you finish him off? Yes, you can. All right. So, and then the water bug there, if you don't kill him fast enough, he's going to run away. So I suggest single targeting a lightning on him so, well, he doesn't run away and you can get more EXP. If he does run away, well, he doesn't give that much EXP, so don't worry about it, viewers. But anyway, see this big waterfall here? Ho-ho! Yeah! I've been behind the waterfall. Anyway, we get a Cure 2. That's basically a high potion. An Elixir. Wow! Just the second dungeon in the game. I already got an Elixir, viewers. And get a thousand gold. Not really going to use that Elixir for quite some time, but yeah. Thousand gold there. Holy cow. Anyway, let's just keep going here, so... <coughs> yeah, so it's, that's pretty much all the uh, treasure on this floor, so let's go on to the next one. We will be encountering a lot of new enemies today, too, viewers. Just be prepared for that, and here we have another one! Zombies! Uh, first, let's change our rows, if I can get to my turn. Don't kill Rydia, thank you. Yeah, Tella can take a hit. He has more than enough hit, uh, HP. Alright, let's change there. And uh, the zombies here are weak to fire. Hopefully I do not kill them all. Please don't kill them all. Thank you. Alright, I want to show off what happens when you attack with Cecil. So, Cecil, why don't you attack these zombies and uh, we'll kill them off then. What damage? There is a storyline reason why you can only deal one damage, though, so... I, that's what I like about Final Fantasy IV. Well, I'm, one of the many things I like about it, but, uh... Final Fantasy uh, IV, when you get limits on your powers, like, even with, uh, Tella, with his... Uh, why he has such little magic and he's a sage? Um, storyline reason. At least they explain why they limit you with your powers, so I really like that. One of the many things I love about this game, viewers... Oh, and with the zombies, viewers, um, you can also cast Cure, which can damage them, but uh, I wouldn't suggest it because it really doesn't deal that much... It doesn't deal that much damage, so I don't really recommend it. Yeah, it only deals like maybe 5 to 10 damage at most. Anyway, there we got a Cure 1, alright. Also, uh, viewers, don't really worry too much about your MP. You will have more than enough going through this dungeon, especially with Tella. Holy cow, 90 MP. All right, after that battle, uh, Rydia gained, uh, got up to level 10, and she learned a new spell, Venom. Uh, that poisons your enemies. I don't really care for it too much. Sleep, on the other hand, is actually a pretty good spell. Yeah, crowd control in this game is really good. Another one of the great things about this game. I can just go on and on about these, uh, the game's, the game's good points, but... Anyway, this is the reason why you don't really have to worry about, uh, your MP. This is the first Final Fantasy that introduces the save point. What the save point do, uh, does is you can, uh, rest up, you can get into a tent and rest up, and you can also save your game, so... It's basically a healing point, viewers. So, yeah, I mean... Thing I like about this game, uh, with their with the MP usage, they give you they don't give you so much that um, <coughs> you don't you don't need to worry about conserving, but they don't give you so little that you're always um, just um, begging for MP. It's just great, I tell you, with these save points placed perfectly. 
Oh, all right. Yeah, we can use that tent. And... All right, Tilla's gonna let us use his tent, so I don't have to waste one of mine, even though I have, like, eight of them. It's crazy how many I have. Oh, you're already asleep, Rydia? Oh, I guess so. Well, if you say so, even though she uh, really only knows, like, four different black magic spells. And a ch she's not even that good at summoning. All she could summon is a chocobo. Uh, then again, keep in mind, she's, like, only seven years old. Only daughter, huh? What did you have a problem with him for? I mean, did he do something to you? What, what, what did you have a problem with him for? Yeah, we, uh, yeah, the, we need the sand ruby, so. Yeah, yeah, we don't want Rosa to die off there. That'd be kind of bad. She's a white mage. Can't let her die. Tentacles? Uh, Rydia, you might want to back off for this one. Apparently it's Pio Hentai in Final Fantasy IV. Nah, nah. Just teasing there, viewers. You know, the tentacles, I just gotta watch out for them, but... Oh, don't worry, Tella, I'm sure Anna's fine. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Alright, so we're all rested up. We could save if we want to, but uh, I don't really want to. So let's keep going now. Yeah, just more treasure. So, at this point, there isn't really any cutscenes left, so... After the game decides not to interrupt me, we can open this chest to get an ice rod, which we want to equip on Rydia. Now, usually when you equip a better rod, their, um, um, the, uh, the character's wisdom, uh, increases. But, uh, well, for the beginning rods, that doesn't really work out so well. So, well, Rydia's, uh, wisdom doesn't really increase yet, but it will, viewers, it will. But anyway, I haven't done this in a while, since we have a lot of time on our hands through this dungeon. Let's go and have another sequence of wasting time with Super Zenus. Haven't done this since... What is it? Uh, did I do it? I think I did it once in Final Fantasy 3, but I forget. But anyway, yeah, for today's uh, sequence, I guess I really want to talk about Great Gatsby. We just finished that in English class, and now we're watching the DiCaprio version of the, uh... The DiCaprio version of the, uh, movie, so... Yeah. So far, I feel that uh, DiCaprio actually makes a really good Gatsby. He is really good at being Gatsby. But, I have a question for you, viewers. What is it with, uh, DiCaprio being in so many movies that just feel like really bad LSD tricks? I have no idea, viewers, but anyway, here, viewers, um, as you can see on the wall, there's like a highlighted portion of it. That's your secret passages. They highlight them for you. What, I can't explore? I can't have fun? I just have to uh, go with it? Come on! Yeah, well, I it's a little pet peeve of mine that they highlighted them, but, well, what are you gonna do? But anyway, there we got a Leather Helm, so we want to equip that on Rydia, that'll be really good for her. Yeah, increases her defense there, and we want to hand down the cap to Tella, so now he has all his, uh... Everything he can equip now has something to be equipped, except for left hand, but mages can't equip anything in left hand. But anyway, yeah, we got that, so... Anyway, let's go back through that secret passage now. Yeah, but anyway, uh, Gatsby, a uh, great Gatsby was, a. Uh, Great Gatsby was a really good book. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, I... But I would have to say my favorite, all my all-time favorite school novel I had to read would have to be To Kill a Mockingbird. That was just beautiful right there. Although, I do have to say I have read my share of crappy school novels. Um, I don't know which one's worse. Uh, back in 5th grade, I read, uh, Island of the Blue Dolphin. Oh, here's a new enemy, viewers. Um, the Jelly. These guys have pretty much perfect defense. So, you're not gonna be dealing much. But, uh, the thing with Jellies is that you wanna cast their elemental weakness. Usually, 
for about the first part of the game, you can tell their weakness by the color of their, um, the color of their, um, sprite there. So, as you can see, they're red. We want to cast fire on them. Yellow ones, you cast, um, you cast, uh, lightning on. So, yeah, that's how you can tell their, uh, weakness. Now, later, it'll get actually, it'll get harder to figure it out, but, uh, that's okay. For right now, just cast fire on the jellies. They go down easily, easy enough. But yeah, I don't know if Island of the Blue Dolphin was worse, or last year I read Scarlet Letter. That was awful. I don't know which one's worse, worse though. But anyway, yeah, but most of the books I've read that are school novels were actually really good. I'm probably the only person who likes a uh, separate piece, and I'm probably the only person who liked The Giver. But anyway, there we got the Darkness Sword, which we want to equip on uh, Cecil there, so... Yeah, really good there. Yeah, I, I don't know why... Uh, yeah, it increases your, um... It increases your attack by, attack by 10, but... I don't know why people didn't like the Giver. I really... Really enjoyed that book. And here we have another new enemy, the Mad Toad in the front there. You want to be a little careful with casting magic. I'll show you why. So I have Telecast Ice 1, because they're weak to ice. Well, I didn't get them all, but, uh, watch out for this. They counterattack with the Toad spell. Not too fun. So you want to kill them off quickly, but, yeah, so, um, if you do get the Toaded, you can use Tella's Heal spell or a regular heal in your, um, inventory. But just be careful with that Toad spell. But anyway, I really... Oh! Alright, so now we're outside. Alright, that's great. But, yeah, I really enjoyed The Giver. Um, I have a soft spot for Mark Twain, so I really enjoyed um, uh, Huckleberry Finn. Uh, Where the Red Fern Grows was beautiful. And uh, I really like Journey to Topaz. But, alright, I've got my um, wasting time with Super Zemus out, so that pretty much wraps that up. So, let's get back onto the game now. So, let's use a tent, shall we? All right. Yeah, so, yeah, I have eight tents. It's just ridiculous. All right, Cecil, we're all good. Let's go. keep going now. Waterfalls. Down there, what do you... What? What? Whoa! Ow. Hey, hey, I didn't die. That's great. All right, after living from that giant fall. I'm a little happy right now. But anyway, let's get more treasure, shall we? We got, uh, Darkness Gloves and Darkness Helm, so yeah, a lot. We're gonna make a pretty much a complete uh, makeover with Cecil, so that Darkness Helm, Darkness Gloves, yeah, Cecil's doing really good now. So let's keep on going. We're almost to the end of the dungeon now, so almost there, just I think this is the last, uh, part of the dungeon, so... Anyway, what do we got here? Oh, new enemies! Oh, these guys! I would suggest killing those tiny mages as quickly as possible! Why? Well, if you, uh, physical attack them and you don't kill them in one shot, they cast hold on you, so that can be a problem. So, hold off on your magic till the tiny mages are done, though, because if you do cast magic on them, they're going to counterattack with the Psych ability, and that absorbs your MP. Not good! Ah, oh, crap. Oh, it missed! It missed! I'm alive! Oh, Cecil! Gosh dang it. Now we have to deal with more of these water hags. More water Gruntildas. Oh, pretty much. Hag, Gruntilda, what's the difference? Okay, Cecil, now we want to kill off the... Don't get laggy on me, emulator! Emulator! No, no, don't do this on me. Just a sec, viewers, if this gets... Yes, becoming a problem. I'm gonna be right back and fix... Oh, oh, it stopped! Never mind, never mind. Gosh dang it, why do the... I don't know why, viewers, but my emulator does that once in a while, and... Well, I just got unlucky, and it started, uh, started doing it during recording. Anyway, these water hags are weak to lightning, so let's cast that. Nice damage, nice damage. Almost there. Just Rydia can finish them up. 
All right, there we go. Oh, I thought I was gonna have to like do a re-recording there for a second after that. Thank you for stopping. All right, Iridia learned warp. What that does essentially is it warps you back a floor, but I don't really need to use it, so I'm okay. Anyway, we get the darkness armor and an ether. So, all right, let's put that darkness armor on him and see how much that deals. Or, uh, all right, that's pretty good. Yeah, I was getting worried I would have to re-record there. My worst fear, viewers, re-recording. And it's happened to me more times than I can count. Oh, uh-oh, that's the... That must be the monster Tello was talking about. Can we defeat it and make it to Danzian to save Anna? Or are we too late? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. This is Super Zemus, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.